Want to have your clip featured in the Skyrim Clip of the Week? Simply record the clip on your Xbox and then send it to me via message. My gamertag is iryani, that's I-R-Y-E-N-I, -E and then you can message it to me over Xbox and I'll be able to view it. I look forward to seeing the clips that you guys send me. Now moving on to the video. Hey what's up guys, it's Ryan and welcome back to another episode of Modded Monday. We're on week number 181 now guys. I've picked out 5 new mods for you guys to check out and perhaps add them to your load order if you find them interesting, but like always, before we jump into them, I want to remind you guys that I recently partnered with Gamer Supps, which is the best energy drink on the market in my opinion. Now I myself used to drink unhealthy gas station energy drinks, but switched whenever I heard about Gamer Supps being the healthier choice and alternative. Since then I've been drinking it regularly, so I reached out and got in contact with them so that we could show you guys the drink and you can try it free if you'd like. If you use my link and the code found in the description, which is RTD, you can get a free sample and a 10% discount on all their drinks. And if you do end up trying it, definitely let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Now it's time to jump into this week's mods, and starting us off we have the Spectra Ultimate Ghost Appearance Enhancement mod. Now the mod page reads that Spectra overhauls ghost enemies, drastically giving them something superior to the vanilla hologram look. Because let's face it, the developers really dropped the ball whenever it came to ghosts in Skyrim, especially when compared to Oblivion and Morrowind. Even ESO had better ghosts. The ones in Skyrim had a strange blue holographic appearance, which is not scary at all. The aim of Spectra is to make the ghost look like something you should fear. This look is achieved by utilizing a unique shader effects and applying a misty-like aura to the ghosts. Now I for one believe that the mod creator hit the nail on the head whenever they talked about the Skyrim ghosts because compared to Oblivion and Morrowind like they said, the ghosts in those games were actually scary, but in this game they're just a blue hologram like they said here and it's just not really supposed to be scary in my opinion, it's just supposed to proclaim that hey they're ghosts, it's not really supposed to give you a fear factor here, but that's where Spectra comes in because all of the ghosts have been completely overhauled so that the ghosts are actually kind of harder to see unless you actually pay attention to the misty like aura. I also feel that if you combine this mod with other lighting mods that make the caves dark such as ELFX Hardcore, you can have the spookiest experience whenever going through caves. This is because with all the caves being completely dark, you won't be able to see the ghosts even more and they'll definitely get the jump on you, so you definitely have to pay attention. And that's also why this mod comes in at our number 5 spot, so if you're looking to upgrade your ghosts in your game, then the Spectral Ultimate Ghost Appearance Enhancement is definitely the mod worth checking out. Coming in at our number 4 spot, we have the Beards of Power. Now the mod page reads that you can customize and personalize your Dovahkiin with extensive beard options. Give your character a legendary beard to fit the legend you've created. This mod adds beards and mustache options to humans, elves, and orcs, and is now with limited Khajiit support. The number of styles included are 73 beards, 6 mutton chops, and 31 mustaches, which is a huge overhaul to the original vanilla mustaches and beards. Unfortunately, this mod is player character only, which makes a lot of sense because you'd have to change a lot of the NPCs in the game, which would just really crank up the size of the mod, but staying at 39.70 megabytes and including as much content as it does, with there being over 100 unique ways to make your character look now, I feel as though this is a perfect mod, especially for someone who's doing a pirate build. I know in the past I did a pirate load order. So if you're interested in a pirate load order, I can also link that in the description for you and you guys can go there. But if you are going to build a pirate load order, I would definitely recommend getting the Beards of Power mod because in my previous load order video where I did cover the pirates, I just covered the regular Beards mod and it doesn't really add too many. You know, it makes them look a lot better and more enhanced, but the Beards of Power here actually gives you more options. But this also isn't just limited to pirate builds. I feel as though it's making it sound like that. You can be whatever you want with these Beards of Power. And especially if you're a strong Nord who likes to stay in Windhelm, you'll fit perfectly there. Those are just a couple examples that I have, but you can take these beards and do whatever you want with them and make your character look like an absolute legend, and that's definitely why this mod comes in at our number 4 spot, so I'd strongly recommend downloading the Beards of Power mod. Coming in at our number 3 spot, we have an amazing new crafting mod called the Modular Clothing System. The mod page reads, you can build your own unique outfit right in the game. These are non-nude, lore-friendly clothing mods, and they're all vanilla-based. So you may be asking, what does this mod do? But first I'll ask you a few things. Do you know what the Elder Scrolls Online, Morrowind, and even Fallout 4 have in common? Well except for the open world, lots of quests, and beautiful atmosphere, they have modular clothing, or layered clothing. It feels so good when you can choose by yourself which parts you will equip on your character. 
Would you like to run topless? Fine. You can now only wear pants or a skirt. Or maybe you want to be a tough armored killing machine? Fine. You can do that too. Equip as much armor on yourself as you can. Shoulders armor, tights armor, groin armor, knees armor, and even breastplate armor. Yes, this mod will allow you to do such thing. Right now in total, there's something around 200 plus different parts of armor that you can wear, and all of these clothing elements are available to craft, and some of them can be purchased from vendors. Now this is absolutely huge whenever it comes to roleplaying in Skyrim because you can actually make your character look however you want now. Now of course you're limited by the stuff that you can actually put onto your character, because in the original game you really only had one set armor piece for your chest, and that was just regular armor. It covered your top and as well as your legs, and that doesn't even go back as far as to talk about Oblivion, where they actually separated it from Greaves and Curris. You know, I feel as though they took a step back here, but this modular clothing system takes one step further on that, and just makes it so you can have as many different layers of clothing as you want on your character. Now, of course, yes, there are armors that you can combine that don't look good at all, or they clip through each other, or there's some problems with it, but that's absolutely fine because the amount of options that you actually have with this mod have just exploded. The choice is completely up to you on however you want to dress your character with this mod, and you're no longer limited by the sets of armor that were in the original game. So if you felt the original clothing system was a little bit lackluster, and you're looking for a way to actually customize everything and make your character look exactly how you want, then I definitely recommend downloading the modular clothing system, and that's why it's featured here at our number three spot so I'd recommend downloading it and giving it a try for yourself. Coming in at our number 2 spot, we have a new follower mod called Cash the Argonian. This mod features 1100 different lines of custom voice dialogue. It's an Argonian follower and she's standalone as well, and has a standalone follower system so that you can have other followers while she's around. There's full commentary on the main quest, College of Winterhold, Dark Brotherhood, Dawn Guard, Civil War, Thieves Guild, and multiple side quests. There's a backstory that is delivered in phases of questions, questions that branch into conversations with the player, and long conversations the player can have with her once her backstory is completed. There's custom body meshes for almost every vanilla armor and clothing in the game, and she has a detailed personality and backstory. There's also three custom outfits that can be purchased at most blacksmiths in the Radiant store, and a little bit of a backstory behind Cash the Argonian is whenever you come to meet Cash, she's an Argonian that isn't very good at being an Argonian. Cash is a young girl who has a knack for adventuring, hunting, and braiding. Since she's new to the province of Skyrim, she's waiting inside the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood for someone to travel with. Fair warning though, Cash is still just a kid. If you're looking for a companion that is quiet, calm, and collected, Cash isn't the right choice. But if you're looking for someone that will curse out her enemies, speak her mind, and even be a bit loud, then she's the friend you're looking for. Cash has a detailed character and backstory that the player can discover through questions and phases, and each phase has questions that the Dragonborn can ask Cash, and once you're done with that phase, you can choose to stay on that phase or continue by thinking of more questions. While there are three phases now, more phases will appear in future updates, so this mod does plan to get updated in the future. Being a teen, Cash uses custom CBB body meshes for almost every vanilla armor and clothing. This way you don't have to worry about what body type you have installed. With all of this content jam-packed into one follower mod, I think it's easy to say that if you're looking for a follower to take around your travels, and you're looking to mix things up from Inigo or maybe Caden, which we covered in the last episode, if you're maybe looking for a new Argonian follower, then Cash the Argonian is a perfect one to choose because of just how many things that come with her. With there being so many things to talk to them about, and they're not just another random follower that only has like four dialogue choices, they're actually a new character that's been thrown into Skyrim and they actually have a full story, if you're looking for someone with an interesting personality to take throughout your travels, then Cash the Argonian is a perfect mod for you, and that's why it's featured here at our number 2 spot, so I'd strongly recommend downloading it. Coming in at our number 1 spot, we have the Skyrim Flora Overhaul. The mod page reads that this mod changes the trees only, and there's no grasses included, so it's compatible with any grass mod that you may have. The trees in this version look healthier and brighter and have a green color and fuller branches. There seems to be more variation in this version because some trees have thicker bark, and the bark textures on some of the trees in this version have a lighter brown color and actually look healthier and better. Now with this mod only touching the trees, there's so many different mods that you can combine it with that make it look absolutely amazing, depending on what type of grass mod you have, the weather mods that you have as well. You can also upgrade the different types of trees that you have as well. There's other mods included, such as green and lush aspen trees is a good mod to include with this one. But even if you don't plan on combining this mod with other things, just look at how these trees look. This new flora overhaul for Skyrim definitely transforms the trees and makes the environment look absolutely beautiful, and like I said, if you combine it with other mods, it'll just make for a perfect overhaul whenever it comes to completely transforming your environment. And that's definitely why the Skyrim flora overhaul comes in at our number one spot, so I'd strongly recommend downloading it. 
So that's pretty much it for this week's episode of the Top 5 Skyrim Mods of the Week. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you knew. It really helps me out a lot. And if you have any suggestions for mods you'd like me to cover in future Top 5 Mod episodes, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Or you can follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to leave my Twitter in the description, and you guys can follow me on there and leave me suggestions there as well. Special shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys have done for me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.